Hello YouTube and welcome to our video number 14 in our HTML CSS tutorial for beginners. Uh, this is going to be the last video on HTML because I really think guys that you're ready for CSS. That, uh, actual, I think you have designed the house if you know what I'm talking about since the first video. Uh, you have made the frame and it's time to decorate it. So this is going to be the last video on HTML. Uh, even before the end of the video, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And now let's knock out the last piece of data regarding tables. Um, sometimes we don't want to build the table in a perfect grid. You know, sometimes we want some, whether it's a column or row, to span across multiple columns or multiple rows. So HTML has a way to do that and the way to do it is I'll show you that what we'll do is we're going to add another row on top of all our rows and here we're going to write another tags for table header only this time inside of table header let's make it more clear so you know what I'm talking about so we added another row on top of our existing table from the previous video. And let's say here we would add uh, uh, people that work too much. Okay, that's going to be our uh, our header. However, what we're going to do is we're also going to implement something that we learned before is that uh, remember header tags well, you can actually use them inside a table. So let's say here we want a header one. So this is the biggest one that we have. And we want to here write people that work too much. Okay. Now, if we just do it this way and let's save it and let's have a look what's happening that we it's only spanning across the first column and that's not really, really what we want what we want is we want people that work too much go all the way covering the column of age and job so here's how we do it so we go here and what you see where is the table header so what we write is uh, table has added a root called call span and here we would have to write how many columns we wanted to span. So since we have here three columns, we would want it to span three columns, correct? I mean, makes sense, right? So let's go back here. See, people that work too much spans around here. Okay. Uh, what we can also do Close this. What we can also do is we, we can make rows to span. So let's say that we would just want to get rid of Bob and Susan altogether. So what we could do is if we know that the uh, name, we could span it across the rows. So I called row span. And we set this one rows spanning across three rows. However, what you need to remember is that in this type of case you would have to get rid of Bob and Susan. Otherwise I'll show you what's going to happen. So you have here and then there's something you have name that's spanning across three but then age and Bob and then intern and boss and so there is a pretty weird looking table. And unless you wanted this by design, that's probably not you, what you want. So what you do is get rid of Bob altogether. And you get rid of Susan altogether. Because what you have is the first row is spanning across three rows. So the rest of the, them don't have that. So let's open it up. And now we have, now we have name that's 
spanning across three rows, and we have the people that work too much spanning across three columns. This will be it for this video. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. We have knocked out HTML. We are off to uh, much more exciting stuff regarding CSS. Uh, this is where you really will see your websites come to life. But uh, all this HTML stuff is going to be very useful what we learn. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.